Welcome back to Bully Catch Gaming. It's Lee here doing another weapons test and review. Uh, this time we're using the uh, UMP CQC. Uh, you see, not a bad bit of kit. Looks all right. Uh, here we are on the range, uh, my usual spot. So what we're going to do, we'll do um, one sighting round, uh, followed by full auto, and we'll do that with and without the suppressor, and we'll do 10 rounds well aimed with and without the suppressor, and we'll do that at 25 metres, and then we'll do it at 100 metres and see how the weapon gets on. Okay, well let's go into the loadout then, and have a look and see what the weapon looks like and some of its uh, features. So let's have a look at uh, the UMP CQC then, um, in the loadout page. Also on the left hand side, uh, we've got accuracy, handling, range, mobility and recoil. So uh, handling, uh, it seems to be fairly uh, easy to handle. Uh, accuracy, it's almost halfway, range the same, uh, and mobility, so it seems to be quite, uh, quite a handful this weapon. Um, Recall doesn't seem to be too bad, but we'll only find out through testing. Uh, it's got a 25% power hit rate, uh, 600 rounds a minute out of a 30 round mag. Uh, it fires the .45 ammunition uh, with the magazine change time of 2.4 seconds. Uh, in the bottom bar below at the centre, as you can see, it is a Mark 1. I. I haven't touched it, upgraded it, upgraded it at all, so it's going to stay as it is. Uh, on the right here, obviously we can see uh, the, the magazine size. You can either have like a, an extended drum magazine or a standard magazine. I think for the time being I'll stick with a uh, standard. So rail cover, you can have a selection of uh, sights of the Atpail times 3 the MAWLDA, uh, the PEQ-15. I'm going to attach that because most of the time I have that attached. Uh, what have we got? I mean, we've already got the rail cover, so let's just stick with the PEQ-15. Iron sights then, you can have the old-fashioned way, uh, the EXPS-3, and then there are some that you can unlock. Uh, so we've got the uh, Leopold Holo sight, uh, or Holo sight, MH1, the RU Collimator sight, and the RU Red Dot sight. Uh, hmm, choices, choices, what should I go for? Uh, hmm. Let's try the uh, EXPS3 then, shall we? Okay, so uh, you can have changeable stocks as well, folding stocks, have a variety of uh, designs. I think I'm going to go for the E1. Why not? And trigger. You can have auto burst, trigger, or single burst. I'm going to go auto and burst. Mix it up a bit. Okay. So it doesn't look too bad. I think obviously you can see the UMP normally has quite a short barrel. Uh, this one obviously has got an extended barrel. So we'll see how we get on in the uh, in the test on the range. Here we are then, 25 meters uh, at my usual spot. So. To bring it up to the aim, I am not going to use the sight uh, or the, uh, the mag magnification sight. Uh, there's no point at 25 meters. Uh, okay, so we do, as you can see, you can have three round burst or full auto. So that's full auto, we'll see if we can get one round off first. Yep. And then we'll go full auto. Change the magazine. <coughs> Take the suppressor off. One sighting round. Sounds pretty cool. Not such a high rate of fire as some of the uh, SMGs, but. Uh, it's not too bad, I quite like it. Right, let's send the drone up and have a quick look, get a closer look anyway. There's that typical S-shape grouping, as you can see, that you get a lot with the ARs. Kick off to the right, back to the left, and then off to the right, and obviously as you can see from 25 metres, very tight grouping, uh, and obviously as the, the uh, rounds 
start to spread out as the uh, rifle goes in the air from the recoil uh, before we start putting rounds into the shed there's one just there so 25 meters very very effective weapon you're getting lots of rounds down into a very small space so quite effective at 25 meters let's have a look and see how the grouping fares okay so we've got 30 rounds in the magazine let's do 10 rounds without a suppressor first as soon as we haven't got it attached Okay, 10 rounds, let's put the suppressor on, over to the right hand side, Okay, let's get a closer look. Well, with the suppressor, a nice, very, very tight grouping. Uh, without the suppressor, again, very, very tight. Slightly off, but I think that's probably... Right, if you watch the weapon, slightly moves up and down from the character's breathing. You're trying to get that dot to fall exactly where the last round's uh, landed. So without using the sights too much and relying on sort of third person view uh, it's not quite so tight a grouping as as I did on the second time however still a very very good tight grouping at 25 meters and uh, you're going to make big holes in people okay well then let's go off to 100 meters and see how the weapon gets on righto here we are 100 meters so uh, I think we've got the suppressor I think we've probably got it on this time haven't we? Right, so let's take it off okay so up to the aim, so one sighting round and then full auto. Let's put the suppressor on. Forgot to change magazines there, that's my fault, but I think we were a couple of rounds out from going over into the shed anyway. So one sighting round before we hit full auto. Change the magazine. Okay, let's put the drone up. So if you look at 25 meters compared to 100 meters, to start off with, not a massive difference. Then obviously, as the recoil is bringing the weapon up into the air, the rounds are going to start travelling further and spreading out a lot further as well. So again, you're going to keep people's heads down uh, for making counter-attacks, uh, moving forward, that sort of stuff, covering fire, etc. Um, okay, so let's do um, single rounds well aimed. So we'll start off with the suppressor attached this time, since it's already attached. Okay, and then 10 rounds without the suppressor, so you drop it on. Okay, it's 10 rounds. Let's put the drone up then and have a look, see how they get on. Well, not bad groupings at all. Slightly different in shape. I think uh, my second attempt is a lot better. A little bit tighter than the first one, but again, you're still gonna uh, you're still gonna get a kill. Uh, it's very very accurate at 100 meters for uh, an SMG, um, 45 caliber. So there we are. 
not a bad weapon overall. Not as high rate of fire as some of the uh, some of the SMGs, um, but not bad bit of kit to handle. Uh, shoots very well. Nice tight groupings uh, on aimed rounds, and fairly uh, fairly close together for uh, full auto putting uh, putting rounds down, keeping people's heads down. So that's the UMP CQC. Uh, give it a go yourselves. See what you think. If you've got any uh, comments or suggestions. Uh, for future weapons reviews, stick them in the comment section below this video uh, and we'll do our best to uh, get them up for you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks to all our subscribers. We do appreciate you. Have a good one. See you later.